get a golfer, worse the wear for the booze. Gets onto the first tee, unwraps a ball, puts it down, he goes, boom, and he goes, whoosh, into the lake. <laughs> unwraps another new ball, puts it down, he goes, boom, whoosh, into the woods. Unwraps another new ball, puts it down, boom, whoosh, over onto the road. And his caddy says, why don't you use an old ball for this hole? He said, I've never had one. You get the other two golfers on the fairway and they come across a fellow who's sitting there in the middle of the fairway and the other, his friend, is in the long grass. Going, just a pad stick. And after about ten minutes, one of these fellows says, Why don't you help your friend look for his ball? He says, He hasn't lost his ball. He said, Well, what's he looking for? He says, He's looking for his club. With a gentleman walking down the road very late at night, and a little drunk steps out and says, hey. Excuse me, sir! <laughs> I, I, I wonder, I wonder could you help me because I am... I have come upon hard times. I'm... I've lost everything. Oh, I've lost everything. Everything. I've got nothing in the world. Except this loaded revolver which I am pointing at you. Get the other fella. Marries a sweet young thing. And for a year, everything is bliss. And then something happens. And they begin to dislike one another. And the dislike grows to hate. And the hate grows to nonchalance. And she gets very bitter and becomes a nag. And he takes to the drink. And about eight years after the marriage, he's away from home and he gets a telegram from the undertaker saying that your wife has died. What would you like her? To be buried, embalmed, or cremated. And he sent a telegraph back saying, All three, take no chances. <laughs> you get a fellow in a bar saying, I, I, I have a number of daughters, and, and none of them are very attractive. But to the man who marries my 25-year-old daughter, I am prepared to give 5,000 pounds. And to the man who marries my 30-year-old daughter, who is rather bandy and uh, curly-headed and uh, losing her teeth, I'm prepared to give 10,000 pounds. And to the 40-year-old one who's a right old spinster, I am prepared to give 15,000 pounds. And the drunk says, you don't have one of about 65, do you? <laughs> yeah. And a fellow walks into a barn, a little drunk goes up to him and says, ah. Was it you or your brother that got killed in the war? <laughs> I get a fellow who hears about his wife's infidelity and goes on the booze. Gets stoned out of his mind, blasted, and then a great rage hits him and he comes home. And he says, I have heard about your infidelity. You betrayed me, and I am I'm going to put an end to it all. He takes out this revolver, loads it, and he says, I am going to put an end to it all. And she's sitting in the corner laughing. And he says, don't laugh, you're next. 